Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'll be replacing this third brake light on this 2009 F-150 with this blacked out one that I got, LED one that I found on Amazon. Stay tuned. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these two Phillips head screws to take off the old light. Now, since those two screws are out, I'm going to try and carefully pull this out of here like that. And that's what that looks like. You can see how nasty it is in there from uh, just it being on there for so many years and the gasket itself is starting to go bad. So. What I'm going to do now is start undoing the bulbs. Like so. Well, I accidentally broke off the bulb inside there, but it should be fine as long as I can pull it out. which I still can, so that's always a good thing. So now I have my blacked out LED light. I'm going to first do plug into the one that I just broke the bulb in. And I guess these lights are polar, pol polarity or something like that. So I'm gonna plug it in to make sure they're they're correct first before I do anything further. So now I'm going to do the main light. Plug straight back into that. And this light will just be. I won't need that light. This so that will just go. It'll slot right back into the hole like it originally was. Now, now, with all that in there, I'm gonna plug in, slot in these, uh, Pete, slot in all these. Let me. Yeah, that's wanting to fight me. There it goes. Alright, so, now with all those back in place, I'm going to gently set this back inside here and I'm going to test and see if it works. So as you can see I got the my door open and all those one little white LEDs are like that. So now I'm gonna turn on the truck. Let's see if those red lights turned on. So you saw those red lights turned on, so I'm going to now screw in the screw in this. So I'm gonna take out the screws it comes with because they don't fit in with the old ones. So I'm just gonna use the old screws because I know they fit with the pieces that are inside there. And probably clean off where that old gasket piece was. I don't know. I'll come I'll clean it up later at a different time. So I'll take these two screws those screws out from the new light and put in the old light screws. So let's see what happens. That with putting the two original screws back in. It looks pretty decent actually. The gasket that they put on it is a lot thicker than the original gasket, so it, it isn't too flush with the truck, but it's not too bad. 
and yeah the gasket that was on the original one is like starting to fall apart and all that stuff so yeah with that thank you for watching this uh, video on how to put a rear third light in and stay tuned for the rest of the blacking out of the lights on this truck